Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Sunday. It is April 3rd, and we are celebrating the fifth Sunday of Lent. <clears throat> so friends, let's begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Hold on a second. Okay. Sorry, I look crooked to me. Maybe I look crooked to you too. Okay. Let's try again. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. <clears throat> Lord, who throughout these forty days for us did fast and pray, teach us with you to mourn our sins and close by you to stay. As you with Satan did contend and did the victory win, O oh, give us strength in you to fight, in you to conquer sin. As you did hunger and did thirst, so teach us, gracious Lord, to die to self and so to live by your most holy word. Abide with us that through this life of suffering and pain, an Easter of unending joy we may at last attain. My God, you have become my help. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, creator of unfailing light, give that same light to those who call to you. May our lips praise you, our lives proclaim your goodness, our work give you honor, and our voices celebrate you forever. My God, you have become my help. Free us by your wonderful, by your wonderful works. Deliver us from the power of death. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. 
Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. <clears throat> dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Free us by your wonderful works. Deliver us from the power of death. The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exalt in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let Israel rejoice in you, Lord, and acknowledge you as creator and redeemer. We put our trust in your faithfulness and proclaim the wonderful truths of salvation. May your loving kindness embrace us now and forever. The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. A reading from the book of Leviticus. These are the festivals of the Lord, which you shall celebrate at their proper time with a sacred assembly. The Passover of the Lord falls on the 14th month of the first month, on the 14th day of the first month at the evening twilight. The 15th day of this month is the Lord's feast of unleavened bread. For seven days you shall eat unleavened bread. On the first of these days you shall hold a sacred assembly and do no sort of work. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. You were wounded for our offenses. Have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep. Let us go and wake him. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers 
and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep. Let us go and awake him. Let us praise our loving Redeemer who gained for us this season of grace and pray to him, saying, Lord, create a new spirit in us. Christ, our life, through baptism, we were buried with you and rose to life with you. May we walk today in newness of life. Christ, Lord, create a new spirit in us. Lord, you have brought blessings to all mankind. Bring us to share your concern for the good of all. Lord, create a new spirit in us. May we work together to build up the earthly city with our eyes fixed on the city that lasts forever. Lord, create a new spirit in us. Healer of body and soul, cure the sickness of our spirit so that we may grow in holiness through your constant care. Lord, create a new spirit in us. And let us call to mind the intentions that we have in our hearts. And as we gather together all of our prayers, all of, in, all of our intentions, as we remember those people who have asked for our prayers, those people that we've promised to pray for, we lift up our voices, praying those sacred words of Jesus himself, and together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, help us to be like Christ your Son, who loved the world and died for our salvation. Inspired by his love, guide us by his example, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Friends, thank you for joining me today for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. Um, just a quick note, um, I will not be able to live stream uh, morning prayer tomorrow. Um, on Monday, uh, April 4th. So uh, friends, you're gonna be on your own uh, for prayer tomorrow. But I'll be back later this week, starting on Wednesday. So friends, uh, today is Sunday. Let today be a day to glorify the Lord. Keep holy today, the Sabbath. Um, letting yourself be with family, with friends. Um, don't do any work today. Let today just be a day of rejoicing, a day of... Um, yeah, just a day to rejoice with the Lord and with one another. Know that I'm praying for you. I would ask that you would pray for my intentions, especially just a couple of special intentions that I have, and ask that um, and and ask that you guys would again pray for one another. Let this be just a, a morning gathering of prayer warriors, praying for each other, praying for each other's hearts and intentions. Friends, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today. Remember to be healthy today. Remember to be happy today. And above all, remember to be holy today, to live out the promises of your baptism today in your life. May God be praised in you. May God be praised through you. And friends, I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.